All right, boat. We're gonna do an operation that I've been meaning to do for a while. This here is a perfectly drawn scale model of the boat. <laughs> okay. This propeller shaft right here, the one on the boat, is not perfectly straight. It's pretty close to straight, but it's it's a tiny bit bent, and it's also a, a it's just made out of a, just like a regular stainless steel pipe that I can bend with my hands. It's very malleable. If you bend it, it stays. So it's definitely not straight. And that causes vibrations, which wastes energy. And also, I'm pretty sure it's hitting the, the internal wall of this tube it goes through. So there's a bearing down here, but there's no seal, so water can get in, right? So there's a tube that comes all the way up above the water level. So the water can come up, but it you know, goes up to here or whatever. It doesn't actually come in the boat. So this tube is important to be there. And I'm pretty sure this pipe is hitting the side of the tube sometimes, just because it's vibrating. And that's two problems. One, if every time it rotates, it just like brushes by the edge of the tube, that's slowing it down every time. Just a little bit, but that's going to make a difference. And the other problem is it could eventually wear a hole through in the, through this tube and then, you know, water would start getting in. That would be a problem. Uh, although I'm, I'm not so worried about the, the wearing a hole because if that was going to happen, it would have happened years ago. So, regardless, I want to get rid of all the resistance that this bent tube is ca causing. And I happen to have a straight tube. Check that out. This guy is real straight. And it's also some kind of hardened steel. Like I can't just I can't just bend it easily, you know. So I think this will stay straight even if it has, you know, some forces on it trying to bend it a little bit. So I think this will be a much better propeller shaft than the one that's currently in the boat. It is a little bit heavier, but it's I mean a few pounds isn't going to make a big difference on that boat. I mean I sit in it. I weigh like 200 pounds. So an extra five pounds of metal is not going to be a big deal. So, I want to take that propeller shaft out. Oh, I really hope this is long enough. Um, and replace it with this one. Pretty sure I can get it disconnected with this stuff. Yeah, all I really have to do is take this, this one bolt out. Get the nut off, pull it out. Then I can take the entire thing out the bottom there. I just have to be careful not to lose the little rollers in the bearing. Oh, I have to stand in the mud, aren't I? Blech. All right. I got a loosened. And I just need to go over there and pull it out. All right, let me just barefoot it and get in the mud. Oh, didn't have to get in the mud. Well. Didn't have to get in the water, I just stood on the edge there, and I could reach. Oh, I'll just keep those ready for when I have to go back in the mud. This is the one I just took off, and here's the one I want to put in. <laughs> oh wow, looks like it's barely long enough. We need the whole thing. But it is long enough. Totally good. Now I should just have to match all the holes. All right, I've got a hole up here that fits over the motor. This already has a little hole here, so I can just drill that out to the right size. And it's a little bit further toward the end, so I'll have to make sure any other holes I measure from the hole, not from the end. Another thing is this pipe is thicker walled, and the motor shaft goes inside here. Now on the other one, I had to put an insert so maybe if I'm lucky, this will fit snug. Or I might have to put a, just a thinner insert. Or if this is tight, I can turn the motor on and hold the file up to it and use it like a lathe until it fits in here. Either way, that shouldn't be that hard. Okay, let me drill this out to quarter inch, I'm pretty sure. Oh, and I'm not going to drill this right through to the other side until after I get it on the motor because there's a hole through the motor shaft that I'm sure is not perfect. Um, I couldn't get it perfect on this either. So I'll put the motor shaft in here with whatever spacer I need, get it nice and snug. Then when the drill bit is through this, through the motor shaft, it'll be lined up right to drill the other side. 
There is another thing I want to do while I have all these out. These are the rollers for the roller bearing down at the bottom of the... Oh man, when is it cracking? Eh, most of it's fine though. I want to check they're all the same thickness. Everything's lined up right up here. Oh, this totally doesn't matter, by the way. I just need it to go up to the end of the propeller. It doesn't even have to go to the end of the propeller, but it looks like it made it. You know what else? Kind of thinking about switching back to this propeller and carving this one up. A few people told me, don't carve up that beautiful propeller, but what am I going to do with it if I don't use it? Just let's be sitting around doing nothing. I don't want to make like a hundred useless propellers. I'd rather just have one useful one. And the, uh, so the reason I'm thinking about carving this propeller up is when I switched to this propeller, I was definitely getting better performance. And I think that had mostly to do with the lower pitch. So higher pitch is this way, lower pitch would be the blades turning this way. So this has a lower pitch than that one. The propeller, though, is still too big for like a one horsepower motor. So uh, I'm pretty sure that's one of the main reasons I'm still overloading the motor. Because I'm, I'm definitely at full speed. I'm definitely using more than the, the rated motor, you know, power capacity or whatever. So I'm thinking of taking this propeller, cutting the blades shorter, shrinking them this way and when I shrink them this way I should be able to do it in a way that lowers the pitch so get the pitch more like this one just with smaller propeller blades thought about carving this one but if I'm going to carve either one I'd rather do this because the aluminium aluminum propeller will corrode in the salt water particularly where it's touching a, a different metal the stainless steel here it's not touching anywhere under here but it's I mean, I could make it not touch. Either way, this is going to get corrosion and get rough because of the corrosion over time. However, the fiberglass propeller will be totally fine. So, I may as well do that now while I've got all this stuff out. Okay, I want the propeller to come right up to this line, but not covering it. I guess that's all the information I need. The old propeller... It's still loose. <laughs> it was loose on that other one, the other tube too. Uh, I was putting, a, actually, even on, on that propeller, I put a little plastic insert just wrapped around here to make this snug. Also, though, this hole does not make it to the pipe. So I'll have to make another hole somewhere up here, I guess. Oh good, I needed a planter to start some seeds. Alright, get in there. Oh wow, that's stiff. It fits good. Alright, good. I want to draw this line on each propeller blade. So I should be able to do that by going like this. All right, connect the dots. Yeah. 
should be pretty. Oh, do I use a hacksaw or an angle grinder? Uh, I think I can do a better job with an angle grinder. Well, those are actually pretty easy to cut with an angle grinder because you just cut straight down and it came out right. All right, now to change the pitch. So I've got a fat edge here. I want to thin it out by taking a bunch off the top here, lowering the pitch. Mm, I think that's pretty good. Rough shaping. Things are still strong, that's a good thing. So I think smooth it out with some sandpaper. Well, my brains seem to think that's pretty good. Significantly smaller than it was. Well, let's go paint it. Woo, Insta stainless steel fiberglass. All right, cone. It'd be nice if I had a fatter piece of plastic, but I'm gonna have to double this up. Boy, I sure could use a 3D printer right now. Actually, there's another reason I want a 3D printer. I've been thinking about giant robot designs and I want to build a prototype. All right, silly machine with a broken starter capacitor. I have to do this to get it started. Chances this stuff will stick. I don't know. I can just, oh, come on. I just need it to stick long enough to get through the lathe. Alright, wait, let me see this. One to two hours? Yeah. Fine. You know, the front end of the propeller is too thin because it's. There's a fatter part just ahead of it. So I've made this to go in there and give it more of a streamlined. Reduction. And it almost fits. I just need to heat it up and get it a little bit melty and stuff it on there. Sweet. Yeah, that should be more streamlined. Alright, that's dry. And I trimmed the edges there. Hopefully that's enough to get it in my three jaw chuck on the lathe. When I get this thing in the right shape, then I can put a screw through it, a couple screws through it to hold it together. It'll also go inside something, so that'll help hold it together. I just can't put any screws in it now and then, you know, put it on the lathe because it'll, it won't be good. Ooh, so far, so good. It's just sketch skills. All right, I think I can just file this and smooth. Hey, come on, come on, go on, fit. One last thing I better not forget, which is a screw that goes into the pipe. Quarter inch hole through here and a little bit smaller hole on the other side. So I can tap the hole on the other side, give it some threads and my screw, and screw into that. Master Pesa! Ho, 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 nice! 
Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. I think it's time to put this sucker in place. Oh, that is beautiful. Oh yeah, let's go put this on. All connected in there. Man, that looks nice. Okay, when I push this up, it should... Very good, very good. Can't say it sounds much better out of the water, but... Let me put it in the water and see how it sounds. Doesn't sound any worse though, so that's a good sign. <laughs> All right, I think I'll just shove. Wait a second. Oh, you know why it doesn't sound right? It's because I didn't put the freaking rolly pins in the bearing. Good thing I didn't turn on very long. God. All right. Let me revise my previous statement. That sounded amazing, considering there was no bearing in there at all. All right, let me get these things in. Then I can get in the boat and drive myself to the hospital to get my brains checked. Okay, all my little pieces are stuffed up there. Let's turn this on. Yes, that sounds much more like the loose-fitting, unlubricated bearing it should be. Now... I, want to, I just want to push the back until it's in the water, you know, to lubricate the bearing. And so the propeller has something to push on, you know. Alright, palm tree here. Oh, ho, ho, ho. whoa, that is so much quieter than before. It's like not all rattly. Yeah, like that, that, little, that little thumpy sound is gone. Oh, that is amazing. I was hoping it would be gone. All right, second speed. All right, let's crank this sucker up. Oh, 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 oh. oh man, look at the leg strap. Propeller is definitely working. Oh my god, oh wow, it actually lifts the boat. Hold on. Alright, we're gonna do The boat drops like an inch. Wow, man, I wanna. Oh, is it deep enough to get in the water yet? Tide's going up right now. I could probably get it out right now. Oh. That boat's parked in the way, though. Well, I can move it. Alright, let me think about this. I also have to make some dinner for some kids. Oh, make dinner for the kids or play with my boat. What do I do? <laughs> Dang it. How, how, no one warned me about these dilemmas. Well, I think that went really well. Of course, I'll have to take it in the water, check my amp meter, see if I'm actually using less energy, and uh, see if I can get a basic idea of the speed just by sticking my hand in the water. Or whatever I do. <sighs> yeah. I don't even mind if I lose a bit of speed. I gotta get the power way down. Because I'm using too much power. Ah, I still need to get the rest of these barnacles off too. The other day when I went to town. When I got back I, I went swimming before I drove in here. Ran my hand along this and it's still, it's still pretty rough. It definitely needs to be smoothed out. So I'll do that soon. Oh, what do we got here? Ooh, 4.30. I think it's dinner making. All right, Lego kids, what's for dinner? What are you guys making? Jimmy, I'll try to make some and then we can start sticking together. What do you guys want for dinner? Peanut butter sandwiches? Peanut butter sandwiches. Uh, beans. Okay, I got beans, macaroni cheese. I don't have time to make beans. Oh, bread dough, macaroni, and cheese. I don't know. No. Man, now that I've got this shiny new propeller back there, I kind of want to paint the whole boat. <gasps> I could paint it all silver! Oh! After I got dinner made, I threw the boat in the water, 
and did a lap around the island. And uh, there is an improvement in, in uh, power savings. Originally, okay, I don't know what it was originally, but the last propeller, which was an improvement from the first iteration, uh, at low speed, I was, I was using 20 amps. And just now, I was, at, I was down to 18, which is an improvement. And second speed, I was at 30, but now I'm at 26, which is nice. And then high speed, before I couldn't even tell because it was off the, the amp meter maxed out. It couldn't tell me what it was doing. But now uh, it, it reads out as 50 amps, which is the, the maximum on my amp meter. Uh, and before it was the needle was going like way past 50 and it was like hitting the edge of the thing. So I don't know, there's a significant power savings uh, at, all, at all speeds. And the speeds still seem pretty good. I, don't, I haven't checked the actual speed on any of the propeller situations I've tried, but they've all just been fast. Um, yeah, this one was, it was good, good speed. Um, I think I could still use a little bit lower pitch on the propeller, but it's pretty good, and I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get some better performance, definitely, when I get the rest of those barnacles off the bottom of the boat. So, oh, I also didn't check for mud after I pulled the boat in. So yeah, I definitely can get the, the hull smoother, which will, which will help a lot. Um, and we'll even make it so maybe the, the pitch of the propeller will, will be okay. Because if it's a smoother boat, it's easier to push. You can have a higher pitch propeller. So that might work out fine. Either way, uh, I've been getting improved power readings. So good. Oh, and check how cool math is. Because I had all these numbers here and I finally had one of those numbers for the uh, full speed, I was able to extrapolate the old power levels of the full speed. So the original propeller was like 80 amps. The second one was about 63. Man, that was way overloading. So down to 50, that's a lot better. Once I get the barnacles off the boat, hopefully I'll have another column here with some lower numbers and higher speed too, because the, taking the barnacles off will do nothing, nothing. There's no, there's no downside. It's all 